This should go faster because I'm not going to repeat most of the achievements because this was done synchrony of some sort. So they're very similar for every objective. So objective one, I'm sure everybody wants to go for lunch. I'm not going to take a long time. Um, we did establish the market focus, explored, and we uh, still continue to validate that. And that takes us to um, a quantitative survey. In the quantitative, we identify nine resident dimensions, and that informed the quantitative survey tool that we developed. It has been submitted for IRB approval um, now. And that was preceded by a quantitative survey workshop in December. Uh, I must say, having a meeting in December was not easy in South Africa. We missed key, you know, so we, we're waiting for it, for that meeting. But that was a very great meeting because it allowed the three labs to come together. It was another forum because that was something we always missed, the opportunity for the Network Plus to always be together, apart from coming once a year to this meeting. Um, so we're currently writing up uh, the secondary analysis of South African General Household Survey data, which was part of the desktop review that we had. And South Africa had the uh, 10 year household data that come together every year. Um, over 100,000 individuals from about 25,000 households are solid. And that was quite um, useful because it actually validated the dimensions from the qualitative survey as well. Um, so the paper is um, the manuscript title Effective Household HIV Status and Social Environmental Conditions of Security. That has been used on uh, quite a number of platforms because what we found out is in academia, it's not easy to tell people to just come to you. You need to have a data you want to share with them. And um, so this, like you said, you know, the mainstream is always quantitative data. Um, so we kind of were able to put in people with the data that we're familiar with, very large sample size, and then train the qualitative work as well. So we had all these uh, conferences, different university research faculty days, Public Health Association, um, Lunar Regional Forum. We had people from different um, universities, um, different disciplines in Lunar. I think the most important experience from going to Malawi was the connection that was made between one of the people who attended that forum and, that, and the person belonged to the Australian Africa University Network that's focused on food security and we connected back in Pretoria. And that's the kind of quality of network that I've been trying to look for. How do we expand beyond ourselves? I mean, yes, it's a great network of 16 universities, but the impact would be much greater if any person in the network reaches out to another network that then gets into a bigger network. And then instead of having spikes, we have real measure of, of spider web. The presentation, Obviously, of this finding becomes an ongoing um, uh, means of engagement of the university. The key challenge is, is we've not been able to engage students as much as faculty. I think we've had more than 200 faculty engagement, um, maybe a couple of dozen postgrad students in particular. Um, so we're currently looking at strategy to improve on that. Um, it's not been easy to coordinate even in sub-region um, activities across the three uh, countries. And of course, we also have a little bit of delay in trying to get a common understanding of definition and of operationalizing dimension. Um, um, to me, how to assist with refining some of this so that we can get a little more um, common understanding of the dimension. Because this, for me, this is most important. Because we're talking about objective one, increasing our understanding. And the basis of that is to be able to communicate um, on a common ground. 